Another run in with the Thieves Guild. Be careful, Udo. The Thieves Guild has Maven Blackbriar at her back. Once, I've never Thieves seen Mjol this upset about anything. I can't just the city ignore really that. Gets to her. Well met, friend. How can I help you? Please be careful. I, know. I don't wish to I be just the reason for your death. You. You're the only good thing that's happened to this city in a long time. You lost? Sorry about the mess. Keeping this place clean is quite a chore. Oh, if you're looking for a bed, this heap of matchsticks is what everyone calls Helga's bunkhouse. Can you stay here? No. The bunkhouse is for the working man, not some sort of luxury inn for tourists. Of course not. You expect me to take care of it by myself? My niece Vanna helps me with the chores. She'd be more help if she kept her head out of the clouds. She's been with me ever since her parents were killed by bandits and she was dropped in my lap. I don't know why I bother. I'd the bunkhouse isn't an inn. I'd recommend the Bee and Barb. Work? I suppose you can call it that. I call it slavery. I work my fingers to the bone keeping this disgusting place clean. Ever since my parents died and Helga took me in, it's been a nightmare. How was I to know she was such a wretched woman? So now I'm stuck living here, while those pigs she calls customers grope me and say the most awful things. It's not just the work, it's everything about her. She's disgusting. I think she takes her worship of Debella a bit too seriously. Do you know she slept with three different men in the last month alone? What kind of woman would do such a thing? Just for once, I'd like to see her squirm. To rub her nose in it. Actually, there is. But I don't think I could get away with doing it. She'd kill me if she found out. You see, I happen to know, after she makes love, she gives her partner a token of her affection, called a Mark of Debella. If you confront her with three of the Marks, she'd be so embarrassed. Well, I don't know what she'd do. Oh, this is going to be great! You need to get the marks of Debella from Boli, Hofgrier, and Indarin. Not sure how you're going to do that, but try your best. Then just confront Helga with them, and the rest works itself out. Try and get those marks without violence, please. I don't want to be responsible for their deaths. Or yours. Spana, has that skooma adult idiot Nuba paid her rent yet? Does she have more excuses? She said she'll have it soon. She still has her job at the meadery for now, so she'll be able to pay us. Why do you insist on defending her? All she does with her money is spend it on that dark elf garbage. Just be patient, Ed. She'll have it, I promise.
What is it? Dragons? If your allegiance lies to well the Empire, met, friend. How we can haven't I help much you? to discuss. Please be careful. Hmm. You're I not from around the here. Reason for your death. Imperial spy, perhaps? Support you have s Welcome to the Bee and Bard, my lord. If I can interest you in one of our special drinks, you let me know. Go Just on then. Deliver my message to Sibi. Damn it, Talon. My skill in battle is unmatched. I've never seen it. The old Neols brought me nothing but sick. I hope that someday the city will be free from corruption. We can them alive and live out of peace. You've been in Riften for quite some time now, Lady Neol. I fear that you soon may leave us. Riften has problems of its own. Now is not the time for exploration and discovery. If you're looking for a handout, you'll want to speak with my husband. If you're looking for company, I suppose I could do worse. Oh, now that can't be good. Thank you. Here, this is for you. Divines bless you. May the ground one of the same kind, you and I. I'm glad to have met you. Oh, thanks thank again you. for the ice wave. Divines too. bless your kind acceptance. All the crime and corruption in Riften is really getting to him. And now that we hear rumors about the dragons, outrageous. Who Divines smile on you. I have no idea what you're talking about. I'd never sleep with anyone besides my good wife, Drifa. Look, it was one night, okay? I think she slipped something in my drink. I, I haven't even been back to the bunkhouse since. Just take this damn thing. I never want to see it again. Why take a chance? Remember to give at the temple. Greetings, honored friend. Could I interest you in some fine jewelry? You gonna buy something? Or just here for Safe training? Travels, Otherwise, move on. Come back when you're ready to stay. Please, I can't take this place anymore. The trees, all the colors, the city so dark. Why? It makes no sense. Welcome to the Pond Frog. Come on in, take a look around. There's May the gods watch over your battles, friend. From us. I... We both own the pawn prawn together. He's... Hey, don't look at me that way. Who are you to judge me? So what if I have a problem? I know how to deal with it. Maramal thinks he's so smart. Tells me that Mara will cleanse the filth from my blood. Huh. What does he know? Welcome. Allow me to recommend the Black Briar. She's an absolute pleasure to work for. In fact, I almost feel guilty accepting pay from her. Why, just this last week, I was commenting to my fellow meadery workers just how lucky we are to be working for such a charitable family. Okay, look. If I'm caught saying anything bad about the meadery or the family, I'm a dead man. I'm the fourth person to work the tasting counter in the last year. The last three are at the bottom of Lake Honrik. Just take my advice, and just get out of Riften as soon as you can. Lady Maven's been developing the secret recipe for Black Briar Mead over the last several decades. She uses a very secret blend of spices, fresh honey from Golden Glow Estate, and specially constructed aging casks to ensure the best flavor. Even when you get to the last sip in your flagon, it'll taste just as good as the first. 
damn it. Sorry. I'm not very good at this. Look, just don't say anything to Maven, will you? I've spent weeks trying to get that right, and if she sees how stupid I am, she'll get rid of me. Yeah. Fired. Sure. That's what I meant. Come back and see us again. I'm the brute. I'm quite busy. N You're crazy. How dare you make such an accusation? If word gets around that I betted her, they'll lose all respect for me at the meadery. Take the mark if you want it. It's not worth all this hassle anyway. Good. Now maybe I can get back to work. Sorry, I'm afraid I can't help you much right now. I'm currently in mourning. So what if I have a problem? I know how to deal with it. Azura's wisdom to you, friend. Wilhelm was pleased with the delivery. Well done. Adreth never forgets a friend. Maramal thinks he's so smart. Tells me that Mara will cleanse the filth from my blood. Huh. What does he know? Yeah, what do you want? If this is about the meadery, we can talk later. Fresh meats and produce. Get them before they're gone. Come to see Balaman perform miracles with steel, eh? Return any time. You're quite welcome here. Buy some armor and live to tell about it. Have you met Balaman? He was apprenticed. I used to live at the orphanage here in Rifton. Grelaud said my ma and my da left me there when I was a baby. They didn't want me. Balamond took me in and been so... At first, I don't know why... Oh! Trouble? Folks in town say that Balamond is the greatest blacksmith in all of Tamriel. I hope I can live up to that someday and make him proud of me. Jerk their duties will get an extra beating. Do I make myself clear? Yes, yes Grelly. Grelly. And one more thing. I will hear no more talk of adoptions. None of you riffraff is getting adopted, ever. Nobody needs you. Nobody wants you. That, my darlings, is why you're here. 
why you will always be here. Until the day you come of age and get thrown into that wide, horrible world. Now, what do you all say? We, we love, love you, girl. girl. Thank you for, Thank your, you for your kindness. Your kindness. That's better. Now scurry off, my little gutter snipes. Come to get yourself a kid. You gotta get out of here. No way, no way. I got double speed. Especially not for the Ventus. She's gonna kill one of us. You really shouldn't be. Sadly, yes. Even the townsfolk have taken to calling her Grella the Kind. Her very existence has become something of a running joke. Grelod runs this orphanage because she's old and set in her ways and doesn't know any other life. These children need love and comfort. I try, but I'm sorry. You should go. The children aren't up for adoption, and it's cruel to get their hopes up. Besides, Grelod hates visitors. I'm sorry, no. Grelod is the headmistress here. And she's decided not to allow any adoptions right now. I... I wish things were otherwise. All of these children deserve a better home. But there's nothing I can do. I'm sorry, but the children aren't up for adoption right now. You should what go. What do you want? You have no business being in here. The what? Why, how dare you? I will not be intimidated in my own orphanage. Get out! Get out this instant! solve so many problems. I wonder at the possibilities. No more! I yield! I yield! When Aventus escaped, Grilla got meaner than ever. I really thought she was going to kill one of us. I can't believe it's it! Not. Grilla is dead? She's really dead! When Aventus took off, when he said those things about killing Grilla, I never imagined he was serious. Did you have some sort of official? Ulfric's a bloody hero. I don't think there's a worthy Nord alive who dare argue the point. 
He's taking the Empire to task and making them answer for their crimes. I don't think I'll be content until Ulfric sits upon the throne of Skyrim with the ashes of the Concordat at his feet. Indeed, there have been multiple attempts on the Jarl's life. We're not certain if it's the Dark Brotherhood or simply Imperial sympathizers. We've also had run-ins with spies attempting to probe our security for weaknesses. I work with the city guard to make certain they fail. At the end of the day, I'm the last line of defense for the Yar. I will not allow her to fall. Liars and bastards. Every one of them. I'd have their heads on a pike if it wasn't for the war effort. All I need is a dozen men, and we could march into the Ratwe and burn them out like rodents. Stormcloaks won't have it, though. Too busy keeping the Imperial forces at bay. Everyone knows the Thieves' Guild uses the old sewer system beneath Riften as their hideout. I'd go down there myself, but that would leave Yara Leila unprotected. I'm keeping my eye on you. You're someone who can get things. With the Stormcloaks at his back, Ulfric's poised to rid Skyrim of the Empire's forces and invalidate our involvement with the White Gold Concordat. Between you and I, I think his motivations are a bit more self-serving. He uses this holy war as leverage in order to pursue the throne. If he were to be crowned High King, I'm not so certain it would be the golden age his followers expect. Good journey to you. Welcome to Mistvale Keep. I'm Jarl Layla's steward, Anuriel. I can feel you laughing behind my back. Because I did something not a soul in this blood-stained house of war has the backbone to do. Dared to speak my mind. I dared speak of the Empire and the lies that have been spread by Ulfric, the leader of the Stormcloaks. Now my mother stripped me of my heritage and incarcerated me here like a common criminal, and my brother has all but disowned me. Be wary what you say around here, friend. You'll find not all take kindly to insurrection. Ulfric only cares about one thing. Ulfric. He's ordained himself the future High King of Skyrim and steps on anyone that gets in his way. He's begun a rebellion against those that wish to eradicate the worship of Talos and uses it as his rallying cry. His cause may be true, but the man is a lie. All he holds in his heart is lust for the throne. All right, then. As Yar Leila's house guard, I would ask that you maintain a respectable distance from her at all times. What do you need, my friend? Someone actually interested in what I'm doing. Amazing! Well, allow me to explain. My experimentation involves a magical construct and a reagent that will allow the construct to maintain a field of permanent harmonic energy. You're a student of theoretical applied harmonics. Putting aside Ralston's constant of universal inversion for a moment, how would you approach the problem? Draw the harmonic energy into the reagent, or allow it to generate its own field? Calipers? That's utterly ridiculous. Maybe long ago you could just find calipers in every household across Tamriel, but not anymore. Hold on. You've given me a brilliant idea. Just as calipers hold materials in place, a soul siphon can hold magic fields in place. Genius! And I'm sure you've completely worked out how to counteract complete dimensional collapse, right? Of course! Nine is the most basic of magical principles. Oh, how stupid of me. That completely takes care of all your basic problems. Magicka burn, dimensional collapse, and thermic drift. You've done it! Now if I can only remember what we were originally talking about. Yes, I could use some help with that. An assistant, perhaps? No, no, no. Maybe a familiar... No, too messy. Well, at any rate, organization is not my strong suit. Not at all. I need as 
much help as I can get. In fact, if you could retrieve a few things for me, I could start on my next set of experiments. As you can imagine, I tend to forget things often. Leave things around. I really must learn to put these things away. What I need is my Dwemer Stirring Spoon, my Orichalcum Ingot, and my Grand Soul Gem. In fact, I could use them immediately. Bring those items back to me, and I'll be happy to experiment on you. No, no, that isn't right. I'd be happy to reward you. Excellent. I can't wait. Well, why are you still standing here? Oh, right. You need to know where they are. That would help. Let's see. Last time I used the Dwemer Spoon was at my dear friend Bodhi's house in Iverstead. Felstar Farm, I believe it's called. The Orichalcum Ingot should still be at Winterhold at the Frozen Hearth Inn. I don't know why I didn't just take it with me. And last is the Soul Gem. I left that one in Windhelm at the White File Alchemy Shop. It was a good trade, too. Oh well. Okay. Now where did I put those spiders? Welcome to Mistvale Keep. I'm Jarl Layla's steward, Anuriel. Out of my way. The son of the Jarl has no time for idle conversation with travelers. If you must know, I was practicing in the yard when the guard I was sparring with fainted when I specifically told him to duck. My blade bit right into the stonework next to the keep and needed serious repairs. Thankfully, our smith, Balamond, works wonders. In fact, if you'd fetch my blade from him, I'd be most appreciative. Thank you. Do hurry, please. Every day, the threat of exile from Riften draws closer for myself and my family. Who knows how many spies the Empire has sent into our midst already? We're at war. This isn't the time for hospitality. Thank goodness Mother is keeping a level head about everything. If my brother Sailand had his way, We'd be flying Imperial Colors by now. Can you believe that fool had the audacity to speak of his love for the Empire in the plaza? He expects us to drop our defenses and greet them with open arms. To dialogue with them rather than defend our homeland by spilling their blood. He's a traitor, plain and simple. Had I been sitting on the throne, he'd be hanging from the gallows for his sympathies toward the Empire. All right, then. I'd be a lot warmer and a lot happier with a belly full of meat. See those warriors from Hammerfell? They've got curved swords. If you know any true sons and daughters of Skyrim, tell them to head to Windhelm. Ulfric Stormcloak wants to see them. Think you can barter with me like one of those damned shopkeepers?
know your kind. Always sneaking about. Yeah. We'll show those faithless dogs who this land belongs to. My cousin's out fighting dragons, and what do I get? God duty. Hail, companion. What is it? God like White Mane is in a better place now. Or is there any place better than Sovereign God? I have to wonder. What does the Dragonborn do once he's been summoned by the Greybeards? Can the Thum be taught, like any skill? to thinking. Maybe I'm the Dragonborn, and I just don't know it yet. Have you come to gawk at me, or is this a... Ah, let me guess. He wants his horse. Well, that's gonna be a bit of a problem. See, I don't really outright own Frost. That is correct. You see, Frost belongs to the Blackbriar estate. Technically, everything in the estate is owned by my mother, Maven. My plan was to take the horse from our lodge and deliver it to Latrush at the stables. Obviously, that didn't exactly work out as I'd planned. Still, I don't want to cross Latrush. Tell you what, steal the horse and deliver it, and you can have the second half of the payment. Sure, take advantage of the guy in jail. Okay, fine, I can make the deal sweeter. I obviously don't have anything here, but there's a hidden stash in the lodge. And I did manage to hold on to the key. Take it. No lollygagging. <clears throat> Brynjolf sent you to rub it in? I got into a scrap a few years ago at the Ragged Flagon. Some idiot who stole himself a guard's sword and kept boasting about it. He's making too much racket and I'm trying to get Vex drunk, so I tell him to keep it down and he just runs me through. Yeah, I was lucky, though. After Vex tore the guy to pieces, she gave me a potion. If she hadn't have been there... Anyway, after I got back to the guild, I decided to start calling myself Twice Killed. Yeah, but Twice Killed has more of a ring to it. Because Big Bad Brynjolf doesn't like the way I play Thief. Look, he says we needed coin, so I got coin. Who cares if people got hurt? Blood washes off septums. Now I'm sitting in here counting skeever droppings while he's drinking Blackbriar mead with Maven. 
Hey, if you're in good with Maven, you've pretty much got it made. She's got friends in high places, and I don't just mean in Skyrim. So getting the guards to throw me in here as a punishment was about as easy as falling off a log. Give Vex a kiss for me. <laughs> if you're ever in the market, I deal in specialty goods for Morrowind and... I may be Dark Elf by birth, but I was raised Argonian. For reasons I'm still trying to discover, I ended up orphaned and taken in by a kindly Argonian family in Black Marsh. I hope one day to find out what happened to me, how I ended up like that. Just one. I know when I was found by my Argonian father, I was wrapped in a blanket bearing the symbol of House Telvanni. It was one of the great houses in Morrowind long ago. Whether that means I was one of them or not, I'm uncertain. If you come across anything in your travels that might provide me with the answers I'm looking for, I'd be grateful. Thank you. I learned that a matron who had served for House Telvanni had escaped Morrowind during the Accession War. Records showed her buying passage aboard a sailing vessel named the Pride of Telvos, but that's where the trail ran cold. I spent years looking for what became of the ship, but I ended up empty-handed. Anything you can find would be of great help. Good luck. Riften's under my protection. Watch yourself now. Aspiring to earn that title, yes. However, the road ahead is paved with loose cobbles and deadly pitfalls. Master Elgrim says I'm a natural, that I have a unique talent. But I fear his approval masks his intolerance for my mistakes. My arid formulas have cost Master Elgrim a fortune in ingredients, some of which are almost irreplaceable. To restore Master Elgrim's supply, I would need 20 Death Bell, 20 Nightshade, and 20 Nernroot. Am I sensing that you may be interested in gathering these rare ingredients for me? That means more time for my experiments and less time in the field. Much appreciated. It's exhilarating to observe the effects of my potions on the body. Watching the heart stop, the eyes go blind. We're made up of thousands of parts with thousands of different functions all working in tandem to keep us alive. Yet, if only a single part of our imperfect machine fails, life fails. It makes one realize how fragile, how flawed we are. You ask why I'm so fascinated? The irony, the irony that the same world that gave us life provides us the means to die. Nernroot is the easiest. It grows only by the water and makes a unique chiming noise. The only drawback is it won't regrow after harvesting. Nightshade is native to the pine forest and marshy tundra regions of Skyrim, and has a distinctive starburst-like violet flower. Last, we have Deathbell, which only grows in marshy tundra terrain. Its inverted bluish-purple flower bunches are unmistakable. <laughs> My family. All that wealth and they squander it on foolish ventures and political schemes. I was meant for so much more than all of this. I wish to pledge my life and ply my talents in darker circles. If only my mother would let me, I would make her proud. Experiments can't be completed until you've brought me those ingredients. Do hurry.
Gathering those ingredients? My mind is on my experience today. What did you need? to leave. You need to leave. How may I help you, my son? Mara's domain encompasses the emotions we strive the most to embrace. Love, compassion, and understanding. It's difficult to appreciate her gifts in these dark times. But you should consider her light a beacon in the storm. May you return to her benevolence and safety. trying to ask if I tend the Hall of the Dead alone, then the answer is... You think anyone around here is going to lift a shovel to help me? Guess again. Leave the dirty work to old Alessandra. Look, I didn't ask for this job. I got stuck with it thanks to my father. I'd like to make the journey to the Hall of the Dead in Windhelm and give my ceremonial dagger to Anders, the caretaker. I believe once it's interred with my father's remains, I'll be at peace with his memory. I hadn't asked you because I was afraid you'd say no. I appreciate your help. Here, I'm entrusting you with the dagger. Bring it to Anders and he'll take care of the rest. My father was a priest of Arche. All my life was spent around the dead, being forced to learn the proper burial rituals and prayers. I never had any friends. 
Who'd want to spend time with the weird little girl who hangs around dead people? So I grew up with a miserable trade. This is all I know how to do. Prepare and inter the deceased. A priest of Arche is entrusted with a ceremonial dagger once they've completed their training. It's usually given by the head priest who sanctified the ritual. In my case, the head priest happened to be my father. The thing is, I never wanted to follow in his footsteps. In some ways, I still don't. I had to, for honor's sake, but I had waited too long. My father died before he could see my training to completion. When I finally became a priest, they gave me the new high priest's dagger. I already owned my father's. So you see, I have to return it. It breaks tradition, and I need to tell him that I finally did what he wanted. Be cautious. The pilgrimage to the shrine. Need something? This temple is dedicated to Mara, and the light of love she shines on us all. I'm only a humble acolyte, though. If you wish to avail yourself of Mara's blessing, you should speak with Denya Balu or Mara. Mara. Until next time. Blessings are many. To love is to know the true nature of the gods. Not all can hear the broad echoes of deepest dawn. To receive the touch of Mara, you must first act as her hands in the world. Explore the facets of the infinite jewel. Are you prepared, then, to help bring the light across this land? Dawn surely opens upon you, child. You must bear its light that all may see. Mara has reflected an image to me. At the foot of the throat and the young woman, almost a girl. Her fickle love must resolve itself. The village of Iverstead. The woman, Fastred. This is the prayer heard by the goddess and relayed to her servants. Return when she has seen her path. I will entreat Mara on your behalf. Think you can barter with me like one of those damned shopkeepers?
Watch the skies, traveler. Hofgreer is a great teacher. I've learned so much about horses from him. Too lazy to walk, eh? Well, you found the right pl Huh? What are you talking about? I don't even know what that is. You must have me confused with someone else. Look, you must have me confused with someone else. I don't want a bad reputation in Riften, but Helga's out of control. She wanted to try it in the stable, so I said yes. If you want the mark that badly, then go ahead and take it. out here. Walls are just a weakling's hiding spot. Not me. I'm no weakling. In fact, I bet I got the strongest arms at all of Skyrim. Oh, sounds like I've got a challenger. Tell you what, how about a friendly wager just between us? I bet you my entire purse of septums I could beat you in a fist fight. You match the bet, and we fight until one of us gives in. All right, remember, this is a clean fight. No weapons, no tricks. And none of those fancy magic spells either. Here we go. Come on, never should have come here. Ah! Come on. <laughs> to be put in your place once in a while. I guess I shouldn't boast so much. It gets expensive. You've been a good friend to me. That means something. Been stuck with the name for years. I've been riding horses since I was a lad. Nothing I liked more. But as I got bigger, so did my mounts. Then one day, I was drunker than I've ever been and mounted a poor colt. Broke his back in two. Haven't ridden since. All right, then. Ah, you're back. What have you discovered? I've never seen me all this upset about anything. The city really gets to her.
can I help you? If you're looking for a bed, what? How? Where did you get these? No, don't tell me. I don't want to know. Look, we need to keep this quiet between you and me, okay? No one else needs to know about it. If word got out that I'm practicing my Debellin arts in Lifton, they'll run me out of town. Here, take this and don't mention a word of this to anyone, especially Svan. I don't know why I bother. Any luck getting the marks? Oh, I know. Isn't it wonderful? I bet she squirmed like a skeever when you pulled them out of your pocket. I think things are going to be a lot different around here from now on. And I have you to thank for it. Here, I want you to have this. It was my father's, but I'm certain you'll put it to good use. Sure, leave. Not like you care anyway. It's so good to see you again. Spare a coin for a poor old woman. I'm a sailor on the North Wind. We're laying over in Windhelm. Name's News. I'm the cook of the Candle Hall. the kind is she you know Aha! I knew you could do it I just knew it I knew the Dark Brotherhood would save me here just like I promised this should fetch you a nice price uh, thank you thank you again Travel more, but who wants to deal with all the soldiers these days?
fine day to you, friend. I'll sell just about anything if it's worth my time. Keep that in mind, will you? Been a murder over in Riften. Some old lady who runs an orphanage. You have to let Fastrick follow her heart. You can't tell her what to do. She's our only child. Are you the one sent by Mara? To throw her to the wolves? You're the My wolves. parents are being Just impossible. Vassianus like wants to marry me. And I think I love him. But he wants to move to Riften afterwards. And my father won't allow it. He only cares about this stupid town. But Bassianus makes me happier than anyone ever has. My mother's not any help either. I don't want to choose. They're both so amazing. Never settle down to have children. Think twice before you do it. The daughter's driving me crazy. I'm sure I know what this is about. She thinks she's in love with Bassianus and wants to leave town. With him. Let me tell you how I see it. Until a few months ago, the girl was head over heels for Clement. Wouldn't stop talking about him. Now, if I thought she was really in love with Bassianus, that would be one thing. But she's a child. It will pass. Look around here. There's not much left. It used to be a good-sized town. The folks have been moving to Grifton for a while now. If all the young people leave, what happens to Iverston? You know how children. Her fancies change with the moon. And like always, the boy lacks any kind of spine. He needs some convincing. A little push, and this would all be simpler. They call it the path to the monastery to 7,000 steps. Can you imagine? I'm not certain if I could even make it to the top without collapsing from exhaustion. Just get out of town as fast as you can. Nothing for anyone here. Have you spoken to my parents yet? You must be another pilgrim Please. on... It's I frightening living on. below their monastery. Sometimes I swear I can hear strange noises rolling down from up there. It sounds like thunder, but there's never any rain. What do you make of that? Oh my. Probably something about the men. We all wish we had our problems. I don't tell my husband. But I don't have any problem with Bassianus. Even if it means her leaving Iverstead, I want Fastra to be happy. If they just snuck out of town together, I could manage my husband. Marcianus is still so terrified of Yoththor. If he knew that I'd keep him from hunting the poor boy down, he'd take faster at Tariften without a second thought. Let him know that I'll watch out for them. I just want my daughter to be happy. Sure, leave. Everyone else does. I wanted to talk with you. What is it now? Wilhelm said he saw you. I've been looking for you. Got something I'm supposed to deliver. Your hands only. Let's see here. Yeah, got this note. Don't know. Creepy fella. Black robe. Couldn't see his face. Paid me a pretty sum to get that into your hands, though. Looks like that's it. Got to go.
You don't look like Pilgrim. Hm? What do you want? Clinic brings food supplies up to them once every few weeks, when the weather permits it. Other than that, they seem like a quiet lot. Don't really know too much about them. I think you play beautifully. It would be a shame. Oh, my love. How I long to take her away from all of this. Why did Bodhi send you to me? I always had a feeling she liked me. More than that brute Yoththor, at least. Yoththor? What about him? He'll come after us and... it will be unpleasant. She would. If she's willing to deal with him, then everything would be all right. I'll... I'll go speak to Fastrid, post-haste. Astrid, we must speak. Bassianus, sweetie, what is it? Pilgrim or not, if I were you, I'd move right through our never gun. approve of us, and I grow weary of this place. Where will we go? To rift in my pet. How you'll adore the city. Oh, and to be with you. I'll make the preparations immediately. You have to let Astrid follow her heart. You can't tell her what to do. It's a fine day with you around. Oh, Am I to throw oh, to the Oh, you're a traveler. You're you must have so much to tell about the world just outside to see the world, this boring just like town. I did when I was her age. Have anything interesting to tell me? To leave Iverstead. What then? No. No, I can't bear the thought.
Need something? It's no fun getting pushed around all the time. You and me, we're the... She finally decided to return it to her father. Bless her heart. I will make sure this finds its way to his tomb as soon as possible. Thank you for bringing it, my child.
It's close enough. enough. That's close enough. I won. Back off. You picked a bad time to get lost.
clear now. I see you, but I don't see Frost. Come back when you have the horse with you. You've done it! Got to admit, I wasn't sure you could pull it off. But you've definitely earned your pay. You're playing a dangerous game, my friend. Fine, you win. Take the horse and leave. Kind of busy, but you're not as dumb. Well, the moisture in the air is better for the ingredients. It isn't every day that you get your hands on fresh nern root or painted troll fat. It also makes it easier to gather water when the canal is right out the front door. Besides, I also prefer the quiet. I didn't open this business for browsing. Come in, buy what you need, and get out. Hardly. In fact, I don't know how I get anything done with all the distractions I have to put up with. My wife, Half-York, well, she's a necessary evil, I suppose. Not a lick of talent when it comes to alchemy, but she keeps me fed. Then there's Ingen Blackbriar. Bright young thing and a worthy apprentice. When she isn't wasting my rare ingredients. Yes, yes, goodbye. Gods watch over your battles. Experiments are at a critical stage, and these are just what I need to finish. Here's some coin for all the trouble. Perfect. This is just what I needed. Here's some gold for your time. Yes. Master Elgrim will be pleased I've restored his stock of these rare ingredients. I feel I owe you a bit more than some meaningless coin for all your diligence. Here. This key unlocks my supply chest at Elgrim's Elixirs. Feel free to take what you need from time to time. I'll be refilling it once every few days or so. Don't forget to check your supply chest from time to time. Don't forget to check your supply chest from time to time.
That old woman who runs the orphanage has been murdered. Say, didn't I see you coming out of there? What do you need, my friend? Items? What items? Let me see those. Hmm. I'm not sure how you managed it, but these are exactly what I need to start my next set of experiments. Wonderful! Well, at least allow me to reward you for your uncanny foresight. Okay... Now where did I put those spiders? Wonder what it's like for the... I trust you have good news for me. This doesn't tell me much. The only thing that could identify Sabion's partner is this odd little symbol. Well, whoever this mysterious marking represents, they'll regret starting a war with me. You should bring this information to the Thieves' Guild immediately. There's also the matter of your payment. I believe you'll find this more than adequate for your services. Out of my way. You seek, my child. How wonderful. Like the sea, their love roils and swells, but brings life and nourishment to all. I see you are eager to carry the light. As you venture, Mara fills my mind ever more with visions of love in peril. Embers lie nestled in stone needing only fuel to bloom a flame that will warm all around them. Go to Markarth. There you'll find Kalsomo, wise, acid, and reclusive. Help him to emerge and state his intentions. This is the prayer heard by the goddess and relayed to her servants. Need something? The pilgrimage is complete. I can feel it. Yes? 
I felt a caress on my cheek some time ago. I thought it to be a trick of the wind, but I think it was a message from my father. We've made peace with one another without even uttering a single word. And I'm content for the first time in my life. I thank you. Here, please accept this as a token of my appreciation for your selfless action. Please, come back and speak to me anytime. Suppose you'd enchant my sword. Dull old blade barely has fun. Destruction magic's fine. Just don't go burning down any buildings. What do you need? If you're ever in the market, I deal in specialty. Let me see that. Yes, yes, this is it. I don't know how you found this stranger, but you've obviously succeeded where I have failed. Please, let me offer you this key. It unlocks my strong box under my stand in the marketplace. Help yourself to anything inside. I really appreciate what you've done for me. I'll never forget it. been a good friend to me. Lazy good for nothing, isn't he? Sent you down here when I'm a stone's throw from the keep. Here's the sword. 
Tell Harl to stop slaying walls, and perhaps his blade will stay in better condition. <laughs> Return any time. You're quite welcome. Come to gloat, have we? To poke fun out of my way. The son, son of the every who knows. How. Thank goodness, mother is keeping a level. Took your sweet time getting it to me. Here you go for your trouble. All right then. I can feel you laughing behind my back. One of the guards said he saw a mage appear out of thin air. Claimed it was one of those sitting monks. I have things to study. What is... You have my gratitude. That spider had been interfering with my excavations for months. As promised, it is the key to the Dwemer Museum. Mind the displays. Some of them are quite fragile. Very good. May I see it? Oh, well, what a terrible shame. Well, I was beginning to lose faith that any help would come. Ah, uh, you see, I've been thinking about Feline quite a bit. You know Feline? Then you know what a beauty she is. The trouble is that I can't seem to speak around her. My mouth goes dry. And, and I start to shake. I could never hope to approach her. That's the trouble. I know Feline from the Keep, but I have no idea what sorts of things she likes. It's not a simple matter. I could offend her fairly easily by bringing up the wrong subject. I've seen it happen before. There is one, Ingvar. He's quite popular with the ladies. Thankfully, Feline is not quite his type, but they've been friends for some time, and he may have some ideas. Please, ask him what she likes. It's my only chance. Blowing up an entire town. Blood and silver. Just turn around and leave. What? Why? Are you interested? Calcimo, is he interested in Feline? 
That sly old codger. I should have guessed. Good for him. For the both of them. Between you and me, she could use a bit of warmth. As for what she might like... I didn't tell you this. Feline likes to act tough, but she really has a soft spot for, of all things, poetry. You know, I took some classes at the Bard's College as a youth. Poems come in handy when wooing. There's a poem I once used on an older lady of Rorikstead. I can change it to be about Feline, if you've got some gold. Are you prepared to receive my golden words? Wonderful. I'll write it out so you won't forget it. You should probably just take this directly to Feline. Wouldn't want the old ice brain stumbling over the words. I know it wrong. Gotta keep my eyes open. Damn dragons could swoop down at any time. The Thalmor know how to deal with the fight of the They live here too, my yard. As his house, Carl, Igman's security is my chief concern. Pardon me? I'm not sure what this is all about. This is lovely. Kelselmo wrote this? About me? I never knew he had such feeling in him. Clearly, I've never even thought of him in that manner. I wish that I was as skilled with words as he. Here, take in this letter. I may not be as eloquent as he is, but I hope he understands. Silver blood family will be heard. Good to see Skyrim still has. Oh, really? Hmm. This looks like someone from Stobbin's little group. A brave scholar, but not very wise. If you find Stobbin, it would be good to see any notes he may have collected. I doubt you'll find him alive, though. This is more than I could have hoped for. Have you really done this for me? I have to see her. Please excuse me. What? Oh, goodbye. Disrespect the law, you disrespect me. The Arrow can refuse to see me all he likes. And ignore us forever. The Thalmor know how to deal with talents worshippers. Pauline, I... Shh. It's all right. You don't need to say any more. I had no idea you were so... nuanced. I love you. So I hear. Come here, you. I have things to study. What is it? Can't wait to kill another of Ulfric's boys.
All me. Divine Get smile on me. If anything pleases the eye, don't hesitate to make me an offer. You You're gonna buy something? Oh, it's... Here for trying to extort more. What? Move on. Hmm? 
You're somewhat weak. Looking to protect yourself or deal some damage. Don't forget to check inside the shop if you need anything. We've got the finest weapons and armor. Good doing business with you. Yes? Hail Samana. Conjure me up a warm bed, would you? Got something for just about everybody in here. Give a holler at me. You and me. Some may call this junk. Me, I call them treasure. You come back. I've been tending to the warriors of your Basker for as long as I can remember.
need some good. These will make wonderful settings for my rings. The ivory from this tusk will be perfect for the inlay on my amulets. Perfect. Melting this down will give me plenty of gold for those necklaces I started. No, I think I have enough here to get started. Here, let me give you this. It's the least I can do for all your trouble. Safe travels, Landstrider.
Well, if it isn't the Slayer Welcome back. The Glenmore Good to Beaches. see you again. How can I assist Astonishing. you? Astonishing. To think you actually were able to reach it, and yet return to tell the tale? Rarely in my travels have I encountered those who possess skills equal to your own. I see I still have much to learn. If you'd permit me, I'd be honored to accompany you in your travels for a time. I see I still have much to learn. See me all this upset about anything. You have some nerve coming back here after what you I I I don't know what to say. Such kindness is unheard of in these times. Here, I want you to accept this as payment for your sacrifice. And I, well, we both thank you. Just get out of here. Protect yourself right. Buy armor from Grelka. Jewelry with legendary Argonian craftsmanship. The old told me that it isn't this bad everywhere. Maybe one day I'll venture out and see if she's right. 